Today I'm going to uh, install and test this matter, thread matter uh, door window sensor. But I'm also going to talk a bit about matter and a bit about how to get uh, good value out of your door sensors in general. Hello, I'm Blake, a professional innovator and designer in pursuit of the invisible smart home. Water leak alert. <laughs> So let's first talk about the different type of uh, contact door or window sensors and then I'll talk a bit about the applications for them. Um, as an example, here's uh, a Z-Wave door sensor from uh, Everspring. This is old and I'm replacing this with uh, this sensor. Um, this had a cool feature where it has an output so you could uh, hook up multiple uh, windows to one sensor. So you just wire, hardwire other uh, reed switches to this and when any of those reed switches uh, shorted out it would set it off or when the reed switch went off because of this it would set it off. Um, this and many leaks or many door sensors um, have what's called a tamper sensor so when this is mounted against the wall that switches in if somebody went to move the sensor that would uh, uh, trigger an event and you would know that it's been tampered with. Um, this was cool. This is a Zigbee sensor from SmartThings. I don't think they make this anymore. But this was cool because it also had a, an accelerometer or a vibration sensor. And there was cool applications where you could put it on the door. You would know if the door uh, was opened or closed. But if somebody knocked on the door, you could also get notified that somebody was knocking on the door. That was a cool thing. I think I even tried to use one of these in a doorbell once so that you put it close to the doorbell and when somebody rang the doorbell it would vibrate this and you could tell if the doorbell was being uh, rung. That was kind of cool. Um, most of the Zigbee and Z-Wave sensors and probably this matter sensor has a battery status which is uh, good so you know when to change them. Um, as in my experience with Zigbee and Z-Wave um, Many of them say two or three years battery life, but you'd be lucky to get a year out of them. Be interesting to see what kind of battery life a battery sensor has. Uh, some sensors have uh, other variables such as uh, light or temperature, which is a cool feature. Um, this is a, um, a 433 type sensor. So the bad about this is that you're not going to get uh, battery status on it, um, but you will uh, get a good battery life because the way the 433s work because they don't have to be updated for status they only actually connect the battery when they're activated by the uh, you know the door opening or window opening so that's kind of cool I've seen um, Wi-Fi type sensors as well so there's Zigbee, Z-Wave, 433 I've talked about here so far and Matter um, I've seen Wi-Fi versions of sensors, but I'm not sure if they're even still available because that's not a very good idea because the uh, battery was only good Wi-Fi. is not good for uh, battery type devices. And I'm going to talk a bit more about that with the, uh, the thread version of this matter sensor. Um, Wi-Fi sensors of any type um, with a battery are just, you know, they're not going to last long at all. You know, two or three weeks, two or three months maybe, but certainly not a year or more. Let's talk a bit about where you would use uh, a door or window sensor. Mostly you're just going to use it for uh, security so that when you're away if there is a, an unauthorized entrance you're going to know about it and you'll know and or the police will know depending on you know how you set up your system and uh, you know there's other uses maybe you would put it on a closet door so that when the closet opens it automatically turns on the light in the closet so you know that's a good application for it but there's some other cool things you can do as well. As an example, what I've set up here in combination with this uh, door sensor and a couple motion sensors outside on my porch, I can tell the difference between somebody arriving or uh, departing. So I get notifications when somebody arrives under certain circumstances, but I don't get notification when somebody leaves, and that's kind of cool. Um, a couple other interesting applications for a door or window sensor. You could put one on your children's doors, uh, you know, so in case they wander in the middle of the night, you would, uh, you know, know they've stepped out of the room. 
You might want to put one on your fridge or freezer to know if it's been uh, left open. Let's just talk about my specific application for this before I uh, go ahead and open the box and install and uh, test it. All right, so I normally try to get everything working with my um, SmartThings hub. And I have previously tested uh, Matter Wi-Fi type devices um, and uh, been able to get them to work with the SmartThings. Um, in this case though, this is a thread, a matter thread device. So battery, uh, devices that run off a of battery can't use matter Wi-Fi. They have to use matter thread. And that basically means that on the Wi-Fi side, matter is like a protocol running on top of the, the Wi-Fi hardware communications protocols. Um, and matter thread runs off of a thread, which is a Zigbee type uh, uh, hardware protocol. So I needed a border, a thread border router. Um, and my, so I could either go with some other uh, Samsung TV or Google or I like to have built in uh, thread uh, border routers, but I want it to be everything that'd be with SmartThings. But my version two of SmartThings um, didn't have a thread border router. So I went and upgraded to version three of the Aotech SmartThings hub and it does have a uh, border router. And that's what I'm going to use today and we're going to see how that connects. Let's open this box and get started. Just a little side note for you uh, SmartThings users. This was uh, this is a Z-Wave sensor from Everspring. This is what I'm uh, going to replace it with the uh, car of matter, hopefully. Um, this sensor was working perfectly well. That was paired years ago with my um, SmartThings version 2 hub. Nothing changed in terms of the app, but it wouldn't pair and work properly with the uh, with the new hub. And I think it's because of the new edge driver uh, setup. So I'm sure I can figure that out, but just a note for your interest sake. All right, let's get this thing opened. Alright, that must be another magnet. It's got a button on it. That's kind of cool. So that's another option for uh, contact sensors. I guess you can use this as an input. I would like to see what kind of battery it is. So let's... Alright, looks like it's an A123 type. No, a CR, sorry. A CR123 type battery. Let's uh, see about uh, going through the pairing process. It comes with the uh, second magnet, which is kind of cool, I guess, for applications. Uh, some of the mechanical, like a sliding door or something. Nice and handy. And the regular magnet with the sticky. You just pull that off and stick it on the wall. We're going to do that in a minute. And uh, you just pull the tab. It comes with the battery. You just pull this tab to activate it. Well, there it is. So it came up automatically in SmartThings and didn't even have to see it. So let's scan the barcode. I found the uh, code. It's on the back of this extensive uh, document. <laughs> so let's uh, let's scan that. All right. Let's scan the barcode. It's working. So that was easy. Let's uh, put it in a room. All right, so let's just see that it's working. I'm not sure if it's this side. It says open, closed. All right, I'll stick it on the door and now I can add it to my uh, automation. Put it on the door and uh, see what we think. All right, here's the door and I'm gonna put it up there in the corner. And you can see there's a tiny notch here it matches up with this notch so it's got to kind of go in that orientation so in my case i guess i'm going to put this the magnet on the door and this on the wall just in this orientation so let's do that right now all right so it says closed let's open the door 
helping. All right. All right, so we have our new uh, matter sensor. Well, oh, I have it set up in the app and I can show you it working there, but uh, it's cool. It's a uh, nice sleek uh, round design and up there it'll be relatively invisible in terms of the invisible uh, smart home. Um, what I don't like about it, which is not really a deal breaker, is that it uses an A or a CR123. It'd be nice to use a couple triple A's. It might make it a little bit bigger, but it's always easier to uh, source AAA batteries than it is CR123 batteries. It's nice that it came with this second uh, magnet that you can use for um, you know some awkward uh, locations, and that happens, happens quite often with uh, sliding doors or windows or even a regular door, depending on how the trim is set up. What I like about it is that it's a uh, it's a matter device, and it paired easily with the barcode. Uh, I'd be curious to say. Uh, find out what they say in terms of battery life. Let me look that up in their I'll look that up in an extensive manual and I'll post that as well. All right, so I couldn't find anything posted on uh, battery life from a car or otherwise. Um, but it's a it's a matter thread device, which is very similar to a ZB device. So I'm guessing about a year, maybe two if uh, Good, but I'll uh, maybe follow up in another video and post that information. The, um, the button is used for reset, I guess, and pairing, um, but it wasn't exposed or shown in the SmartThings app. It sounds like it will be available in the, or is available in the uh, Akara app for, as a trigger, so that's kind of cool. I would say eventually it'd probably show up, you know, somebody will uh, update the edge driver write a driver for that so it's available in uh, smart things and other uh, apps as well I paid about $45 Canadian from amazon.ca and it's available on amazon.com for about $30 I see this pricing coming down a car is usually pretty good with uh, economical pricing um, you know as uh, competitive products come out uh, for this category. Overall, again, because it's a matter device, I think it's a cool solution because it works with uh, multiple um, hubs. And that's it. So uh, please like and subscribe and uh, look for my next video. Cheers.